Yeah, no, we're expecting a bigger crowd on Sunday. So I'm happy it was a, it was a great start to, um, you know, seeing what this environment is going to be like. And, um, you know, just looking forward to the challenge. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kyrie, on a personal level, uh, what was the experience like for you? I, one time they were chanting some vulgar stuff and you kind of waved it on. Do you feel like you kind of had to get this one past you? I mean, it's basketball. I've been in a few environments in my life. So, you know, like I said, as long as it's just strictly the nature of basketball out there, there's nothing extra. I'm cool with it. Um, you know, going to get some some preparation with the team tomorrow um, and then get prepared for Sunday. But, you know, it's just want to keep it straight basketball. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. For either one of you guys, just where do you think your biggest issues were on defense tonight? I feel like they made shots tonight. <clears throat> you know, we, uh, uh, especially Tatum, he had some tough ones over us tonight. I don't think he got anything easy. Um, but for a score like that, once you start to see the ball going to the rim, you know, things become, uh, you know, it just, just push their team to another level. So I feel like the fadeaways that he's making and step back threes, those are his shots, but we still got to contest on them. So I think we got to be more physical. Uh, with our switches and rebounding and um, getting out in transition. So, uh, you know, watch some film and see how we can get better. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Uh, maybe starting with Kevin and then Kyrie, if you have anything to add. I, I'm wondering, Steve said that over he, he could feel the confidence growing in Boston by giving, the, by giving the team an opening to win tonight. I'm wondering if you could feel that over the course of the game, and if so, how? And then just what you made of what Jason Tatum was able to do. I mean, how many threes they hit? Um, Quite a few. Yeah, they, they tied us in threes. They hit 16 threes in this building. I mean, you got Romeo uh, Romeo Langford hit a couple for them. Smarty hit five. Fournier hit four of them. You know, so um, they got it going from the three-point line, which is, which is going to keep any team in a game. And, um, you got to do a better job of contesting. They shoot 50% from the field. Uh, we can't allow that. At 41 from the three, we can't allow that. And get out rebounded. We just got to be better. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. To either or both of you, I mean, after you guys were down 10 and you climbed back to tie it on Katie's uh, free throws, um, at that point, they went on a run and kind of put it away. I'm curious, what went wrong defensively in that run where you let him hit like seven of eight or eight of nine, whatever it was. From when it was 75 off. Yeah, no, they were just comfortable. Uh, you know, when you get down the stretch, uh, they feel like they could pick us apart, uh, you know, with their one, four, one, three pick and roll or, uh, you know, kind of what we call pick on basketball, just bringing screens up and then JT getting to the free throw line or, or getting aggressive plays or, uh, you know, Kemba getting in the teeth of the defense or, you know, they run an ATO for Evan Fournier. I get a corner three. Um, you know, it's just big momentum plays. Uh, Tristan hitting the offensive glass and you know, keeping plays alive. You know, just the little details of the game where we felt like we could have been there uh, in terms of putting a body on guys. Uh, you know, we just got to be ready for that for game three. Or it's game four, excuse me. Vid with La Gazeta de la Sport. And guys, this is for either one of you. Uh, what do you think was your uh, biggest problem in this game, and how do you think you can solve it? Uh, I think we have to uh, definitely have more attention to detail on the small, small things on the defensive side of the ball, uh, like not opening up on picking rolls or switching you know, with contact and physicality. Just small things, rebounding, boxing out. Uh, guys flying in from the perimeter to rebound, you know, and then on the offensive side, just keep moving that basketball. You know, we got special players here that can make tough shots, uh, but we want to continue to move the ball. So uh, we, we got to watch film. We got to just play more of a, uh, you know, for, well, we started off the game well, but for the, for, for the whole game, we got to cons consistently be there for each other defensively, and we do that, we're in good shape. But, you know, the best player had 50 points. Um, we got 23 from Marcus Smart, and we were still in the game late. Uh, you know, so that's a solid sign of anything, but we don't want to take no more victories out of nothing. We just got to come back with it next game. Back to Christian Winfield. 
Hey, uh, again, for either one of you guys, what, what, what do you miss most with, with Jeff out of the lineup and, and just what does he bring that you guys didn't have today? I just, I think he brings a versatility uh, to us offensively and defensively and creates some spacing out there in terms of our shooting. But um, just like the, this season, uh, we, we've had kind of that, that next guy up mentality uh, where guys have to fill in. And it may take a game or two uh, to figure that out. But, you know, this is the playoffs. So we just got to figure it out on the fly. And, and like Kay said, just paying attention to detail. We clean up a few things on the offensive and defensive end. We'll be in a better position in game four. So looking forward to the challenge. Back to Greg Logan. Uh, for Kevin, uh, uh, Steve Nash said that uh, uh, he felt you guys – kind of got back to playing more isolation. I mean, you and James obviously had lights out games, but, but does it, do you have to get more to the style of offense that you had in game two where it's a little bit better spacing and, and you guys don't have to do everything? I don't feel like we had to do everything tonight. I mean, we got some good looks. I felt like uh, everything we did was uh, efficient. James, I'm going to show me James 11 for 18. <laughs> for 12 from the Tracy, 12 for 13. I mean, two turnovers, 10 assists. I felt like we were efficient. I mean, I missed three free throws, but outside of that, I felt like we were efficient. But, I, you know, we lose a game and we, we don't – I got one assist and we got 16 as a team. Of course, you know, we can pinpoint that. But it's a lot of stuff in the games um, that we could be better at. And, you know, that's definitely one of those things we want to emphasize is continue to move the basketball.